so we let our sealer flash and you can see it flattened out not a problem you don't see any stripes or anything what we're gonna do is give this thing another light blow and tack no blowing mike says just light tacking once again we don't want to push too hard that tack rag has beeswax on it it can transfer to the panel and then we're going to go ahead and get ready to spray our base coat we are using enviro base ppg base coat this color is a 32v for a mazda cx9 we're spraying it in the standard variant out of an ntech 1-3 iwata a nest gun gun does spray a little bit fat when i say fat it has some pretty big droplets waterborne's not uh waterborne's pretty friendly with a big droplet and then in between coats we're going to dehydrate we're going to be using our air knife to dehydrate now with waterborne you don't want to band it first you want to band it when you're done when you're waterborne so you're going to do with all the big flat panels and then you'll do a band with PPG at least. Mike spraying on a medium wet coat. Should be wet enough to wet out, but not super wet. Same technique as before. Got about an 80% overlap on this product, and he's boogieing. With PPG, they suggest you spray their guns wide open. With our normal setup, we would have choked this back to about two and a half to three and a half turns. So we can see we don't have full coverage. We don't want full coverage. We're gonna do two or three coats of this product. You can also see he got it enough to wet out, but it's not glossy, glassy, nothing crazy. Now we're going to grab our air knife, and we're going to go ahead and blow off the panel. So I don't want to blow into it, I want to blow off. Now these type of air amplifiers work really good, just not for students. If you get too close to this, it will move paint. You can see how far Mike is away, and that's probably maybe 20 PSI. And we're really looking for where it flashes off. So I'm going to stand real still so we can get a time lapse. Once again, we're not really looking for good coverage. You can see this is very blotchy. I don't want good coverage. All I want is the base starting point. Now that we see everything's been flashed, that tells me most of the water has come out of the paint. Do not let this think you are done. Whenever we do this, I want to touch it. I want to do a tape or a thumb rub where I'm going to put my thumb on it and rub it. Good rule of thumb, give it a good three to five minutes of blow drying and then do your twist test. Obviously with this, I don't have any masking, I don't have any paper that I can test. So I really got to touch the actual hood to test it. If this is the case, a lot of guys will spray here intentionally and then twist their paper. dry like this your three to five minutes we should be good it should kind of feel like a balloon but I'm pushing pretty hard and it's not coming off if it comes off it's not ready yet I know it's good there 
I felt the edge right here. It's still a little sticky. We're going to give it a little more time. Once this thing's fully dehydrated, we're going to start on our second coat.